Hello, my name is Rabi Ait Ahmad Wali. I have been working at Shefla since 2017. I am responsible for the vehicle dynamic simulation with CarMaker and Zimpeg as well. Hello also from my side, I'm Markus Stubitzer. I've been working for five years at Schaeffler Herzung Auach and I'm responsible for vehicle dynamic simulation. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Helmer Rockel. I've been with Schaeffler for 10 years and I'm responsible for the vehicle simulation team in Herzogen Aurach. At the beginning, I have the pleasure to introduce our company to you. You can find Scheffler in more than 170 locations in 50 countries. Our more than 80,000 colleagues are working in 75 plants and overall 20 R&D centers. One figure we are especially proud of are our more than 2,000 patents we file each year. From our three divisions, the industrial comprises such diverse branches as wind energy, aerospace and railway. Secondly, there's the automotive aftermarket. The third division, which is the biggest, is automotive OEM, which you can see on the left. And it is subdivided into engine systems, transmission systems, e-mobility and chassis systems, which is actually the focus now, because we are part of that division. For chassis systems, I'd like to present two products to you. The first of which is our active roll control actuator. It offers a variety of benefits on the vehicle level. Firstly, it improves vehicle dynamics by increasing agility and enabling selectable driving modes. Secondly, it enhances comfort by reducing the effect from road bumps and increasing the roll damping. Another product is our railway steering actuator. It also offers a number of benefits on the vehicle level. When steering out of phase, it improves maneuverability, it enhances the driving comfort, it leads to a smaller turning circle, and it generally improves driving agility. When steering in phase, it improves vehicle control, it enhances the driver comfort and also the passenger comfort, and it generally contributes to driving stability. A special case occurs when you are driving with a trailer, then the hitch angle can be reduced, the trailer sway can be improved, you get an increased towing capacity and limp aside is enabled. Let me now lead you to today's focus topic. Let us march through the V-model of mechatronic development in a reverse direction. Virtual and real test driving is well established. The same applies to the numerous X-in-the-loop scenarios combining virtual and real testing capabilities. A large number of virtual methods is also available for component level design. For the following minutes, however, we will focus on requirements definition. Understanding requirements coming from the vehicle level is crucial for any system supplier. So, virtual methods for requirements engineering are the topic here. Now we want to talk how we get system requirements from the vehicle simulation. In the slide you can see a big overview what we do in our department. For example, we optimize uh, controller performance, we do virtual application, we also support the functional safety analysis of critical driving maneuvers, we check requirements and we determine also loads out of the vehicle chassis for our mechatronic systems. All in all, you can say that vehicle requirements are interacting in almost every development step. This slide is about our vehicle models and on the right side you can see the vehicle model. We built it up in IPG CarMaker and there we included, for example, the K and C data, tire models, damper curves and 
other things. Um, now we go on the, the left side. There we get the information from CarMaker, for example, front wheel steering information and vehicle velocity, roll angle. On the left side, you see the MATLAB Simulink um, tool. There we integrated um, our own products. Um, here, for example, rear wheel steering and active roll control system. And these products are controlled by our own chassis controller. And now we go back to IPG CarMaker with the information from MATLAB Simulink simulation. And here we have, for example, IARC torque and rear wheel steering angle. All in all, we have the co-simulation between CarMaker and, and Simulink and have a validated model. You can say that we included our products in the big vehicle context. Using vehicle simulation, we analyze the requirements we get from the vehicle manufacturer. We also analyze the vehicle regulations from the government, vehicle norms, and analyze also the ma maneuvers we use in our simulation. And these requirements come to Scheffler chassis products, and now we ask, are they realistic, and what does this mean for functional safety? In this context, we make a vehicle simulation and also a system simulation, and they collaborate together and get the input and outputs from both and compare to each other and give a feedback to the OEM. In close collaboration, we develop our requirements with the automotive manufacturer. An example where we use this vehicle requirements from the automotive manufacturer is the virtual calibration. On the left side, you can see um, that we have different driving modes in our roll control system. And we got here the roll rates from the vehicle manufacturer. On the one hand, we have the comfort mode with about 2.8 degree. And on the other hand, we have the dynamic mode with 1.0 degree. Now we go in the vehicle simulation and there uh, we drive with constant velocity and increase our steering angle. We did a parameter studies out of it and optimized the parameter so th that we get the result. You can see on the right side, um, here is the blue line, the target, and the orange line, the simulation. And you see that target and simulation are quite the same. The question is, why do we do virtual calibration? There are a lot of benefits of virtual calibration because, first of all, we could save a lot of time with simultaneous engineering. You can imagine we build it up the vehicle in the simulation and the test colleagues could build up the vehicle as well. Another advantage of virtual calibration is that we could optimize our parameters and do a study quite simple. Another um, advantage is that we could make a safe commissioning of the function in the vehicle. The last benefit is that we have also a digital twin of the real demo car. In conclusion, you can say with virtual calibration, you could improve the development process at an early stage. Another important topic is the functional error simulation. We want to analyze the vehicle behavior in different driving maneuvers. For example, we use here driving maneuvers like fish hook maneuver, steady state circle, step steer test, and others. You can see in the middle that we have the co-simulation between MATLAB and CarMaker. On the one hand, we have MATLAB. There we make a fault injection. And on the other hand, we have um, CarMaker. And there is our vehicle model. Now we come to the results of this functional error simulation. And here you can see that we have at 130 seconds that our vehicle loses ground contact. And this is quite riskful because it could happen that the vehicle tips over. And for a demo car clearance, we have to check this. It is also important that we understand our critical maneuvers to improve our 
development process for our mechatronic systems. In conclusion, you could say with functional error simulation, you could improve your development process and you also could develop better and safer mechatronic systems according to ESSE specifications. In this section, I will give you an overview about the method we have developed to get the mechanical loads for the chassis component using Zimpec in combination with CarMaker. The chassis actuator is built as a multi-body system in Zimpec. On the, at early stage, the, the, the actuator developer needs inputs about the force acting on the actuator uh, considering the 3D geometry. And in order to get that, it is necessary to, Im to integrate the actuator in the vehicle model in Zimpec. This is possible, but requires a lot of parameters to build the vehicle in Zimpec. And due to that reason, we have reduced the vehicle model to an Excel model using a virtual Excel test trick to transmit the tire road contact forces provided from our car maker simulation. The next slide shows how this is done. This method is based on the simulation of mechanical load of chassis component on axle level using the axle test trick in Zimpec. Basically, we use car maker for vehicle dynamic simulation with a validated vehicle model. In CarMaker, we can perform the maneuver required for the mechanical load. For example, drive over a bad road and generate the tire road contact forces as a result of steering, braking and driving. These forces are the input for the test rig in Zimpec. The axle test rig is built in Zimpec similar to the real on C test trick and allows all degree of freedom of the wheel suspension, like in the real vehicle. The entire axle system is connected to the test trick on the wheel hub. The generated tire forces will be transmitted using a force element between the plate and the wheel, and we can evaluate the reaction forces on the desired position, for example the tire road forces. So it is possible to calculate the mechanical load with a simplified method. Summing things up, we have shown you two Scheffler products in the vehicle context, as well as two methods from our portfolio. Going from the vehicle level to the system and the component level has been the topic. Let me finally give you an outlook of how we further support mechatronic development by virtual methods. In my opinion, it all comes down to the right combination of real and virtual instances. For that reason, our overall mission is to continuously find optimal paths through the V-model by providing suitable models for the right purpose and by ensuring consistency among all those models. The goal is to permanently increase customer orientation, to deepen system understanding, and to improve development efficiency. In this sense, vehicle simulation is the top layer of our mechatronic development. We thank you for your attention, and we will be happy to answer your questions.